Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today uh, we've got a Sunday sew along. Obviously this is a little different than um, normal. So I am currently, I'm filming this on Thursday, which my um, second, look at this hair, my second um, in-person shirt making class starts this afternoon. Um, actually evening, 5.30. Um, so anyway, I am prepping a few things. Obviously I'm going to wait and get myself looking presentable here in a little bit, but I have a lot of packing up of my van to do and I wanted to give some love to my machines. So I was racking my brain trying to think of what I wanted to do for this, uh, for some, this video, for today's video. Um, and I will be going back to hacks um next week so i i'll be gonna do some arlington hacks the love notions arlington sweater which is the turtleneck sweater i'm gonna do some hacks on that and then i think after that we're gonna go into a uh sew along of some sorts um if there's anything in particular i'm kind of leaning a little bit towards the um style arc parker ponty pants a couple we were talking about it in my class two weeks ago now and um, a lot of people were wondering what my favorite like knit pant pattern was for like ponty trousers kind of type thing. I think that that is my favorite one for that style of trouser. Um, anyway, but Style Arc has uh, limited instructions. And so, um, but they're pretty easy pants to make. So I kind of thought I would might go into a sew along for that. Um, I'm not sure how that'll time out because I don't know how many hacks I'm gonna do for the Arlington yet. But if that's of interest or if there's another garment type you'd like to see, let me know down below in the comments. Okay, so for today, as I was getting things ready for my class, I thought that it might be um, beneficial. I'm going to do a little uh, sewing machine TLC. Um, I'm going to, especially my serger, it needs to be, a lot of the stuff needs to be sucked out of it. And I'm um, going to oil some things and uh, change my needles and just generally get um, my machines ready to take to the class. Um, I'm teaching on my Bernina little sewing machine. And then I've got my serger that only, um, I mean, I, myself and Jenny are going to use, but just to finish off just a couple of the seams on the shirt for people. Um, yeah. So anyway, so that's why I'm taking the serger. It's just for like a couple of things that I do. Um, not that I don't trust. Well, yeah, I guess I don't trust people with my machine. Wow, that sounded harsh, but you know what I mean. Um, anyway, so I'm going to flip you around. We're going to start with the serger and then we'll go over to the uh, sewing machine next to do a little bit of work. So the things that I'm using, because I, as I am like using the vacuum cleaner, that's clearly going to be really loud. So I'll mute that section and just put music over it as I'm doing it. But I want to talk you through some of the things I'm um, using. So I'm using this mini attachments for um, vacuum cleaners. I mean, these things can be used for computers, printers, typewriter, anything, sewing machines. But it's just like a, a package of like different attachments that attach onto this hose. This does not fit great into my attachment on my sewing machine, but it works well enough. And it gets you all, these little attachments get you into the nitty gritty. So when you see me using that, and I got this at my sewing machine um, store, like where I got my, um, oh my gosh, where I got my searcher. <laughs> And it's not where I got my little sewing machine. I got that at a, a different um, sewing machine dealer. But I love um, Select Sewing, which is in Indianapolis at 65th and Keystone. If you're in the area, they are a fantastic um, uh, shop, sewing machine shop. They sell Baby Lock, Fath, Viking, maybe, Brother. Hmm. I know they sell Fath. And I know they sell baby locks. That's what I bought. Anyway, they are just delightful. Um, but I bought this from them. I'm sure you can find something similar online. And then I am using the So Right Precision Machine Oil. Also got this at my lo local, um, sorry, I keep not looking at the camera because I'm on my phone. The camera's right there. <laughs> Um, I also got this at the same, it's like sewing as well. So um, I'm sure you can find these online, probably at Wallwack, honestly. Um, but anyway, just some sewing machine oil. So those are the tools I'm using for today. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to change my needles, get my thread on, get the bobbin wound for my sewing machine. So uh, yeah, let's go to, um, I'll do some talking, but yeah, when the machines, the sewing machine or the vacuum gets in, that's going to be loud. So I'll just mute that down and play music. Okay. Let's get to taking care of giving our machines a little TLC. Okay, I'm showing you my mess and my shame. I actually clean up my serger pretty frequently, but it is, I mean, let's look inside there. Ooh -wee. It is dirty right now. Um, and that is, that's just the nature of a serger. You just have to clean them rather frequently. So um, the first thing I'm going to do, and again, I won't, 
have the sound on because it will deafen you. Um, I have unthreaded my machine. I don't, you can see I don't have any thread on here. Um, so there's, there's no, no thread. And so I'm just really quickly going to um, vacuum the whole um, machine out. And uh, then I will come back on here with sound and we'll talk about where I like where I put my oil. I also want to do a quick caveat. Um, check with your sewing machine supplier wherever you buy your sewing machine. Because uh, some, my Janome, I was told never to oil it. So uh, when I bought it. My Bernina, I have a spot where I oil it. And then this baby lock, I do have one spot where I'm supposed to oil it. And I will show you guys that here in just a second, but we gotta get it clean first. So uh, without further ado, let's get this baby sucked out. <laughs> Okay, now that everything is for the most part sucked out. Now I do also want to say that if you use your serger and your um, equipment a lot, like I do, um, get it serviced every year. Uh, that way the little nooks and crannies that I can't get into, they can make sure that that gets in there and everything is working well so you don't have some kind of awful issue later. Okay, next I'm going to put some oil in here. And I'm going to be putting oil, here I'll zoom in so you can actually see what I'm doing. All right, so this little piston here that you can see when you are, see it goes in and out and in and out like that when the machine's being used. I am putting just a little bit of oil right at the base of that. And then I'm going to work that in there and that is the only place that I put oil on my serger I'm not sure what they do when I take it in <laughs> to, to um, service it but that is all I do and there we go our serger is nice and clean and it is ready to be rethreaded and I also need to put this little piece back on so I can shut that I can um, actually, I want to keep that down because I'm going to re-thread it. All right. So now I want to change my needles, get fresh ones in there. My sewing machine guy also told me um, when I'm loosening these screws to take out needles, immediately tighten them back up just to get in the habit of doing that because these little guys, if you don't tighten them up, if you're switching back and forth between um, cover stitch and surging they can fall out and I've lost one in the machine once not because I didn't tighten it but because I just dropped it in there okay. looking for the correct needles all right now you can use these are actually overlock or over locker needles, but a lot of times I just put regular universal needles into my serger. Okay, and you gotta, okay, throw them. <laughs> All right, two fresh needles. So I am going to um, thread it really quickly and then it will be ready for the class. 
just get a couple things Ooh, out here. Knock over my oil. I'm also going to show you how slick it is to thread. This has the... Um, Oh gosh, what's it called? The Extraordinaire Threading, because this is a baby lock. There we go. It's a little more difficult to do this around a tripod, but it's fine. And just like that, she's all ready to go and uh, be useful in class. Okay, let's move on to the sewing machine next. Okay, let's tackle my little Bernina here. Um, I am gonna take the table off here. Set this aside. Okay, so I have um, unthreaded it. And we're just gonna hit this lightly with the vacuum. This doesn't need nearly as much vacuuming as the... Um, Serger needs, but just, you know, just kind of dust it off a little bit, you know, suck some of the crap out. Then I'm going to show you um, where I oiled this one, and um, then we're going to put a new needle in and the correct presser foot and get it all threaded for uh, class tonight. Actually, we probably won't use this tonight, but for tomorrow. Okay, let's get going. All right, so that was a quick little um, vacuuming out. Again, not nearly as much as um, the serger. Okay, so what I am doing now is the only place I put oil on this machine is right here where the bobbin um, does its work. Let me pull out the oil here that's wanting to not get the cap off here. I have the bobbin out. And there we go. And what I do here is, um, it's good in there, is I like to sew um, on a little bit of scrap just in case there's any residual of the oil. It doesn't get on my project. So I'm just putting in 
Oh, let's back it up a little. Putting, um, oh, so this doesn't have the drop down bobbin. So I have the bobbin case comes out with the bobbin on this machine. My Janome was not that way. So I'm just gonna put this into the bobbin case with my thread going back towards me so that it goes back towards me into that and into that little piece right. It's not into that little handle. And then you pull this out and it goes and it clicks into place. And then you can just pull your thread, cut it off. Good to go. Okay. I'm just gonna throw that on the ground. <laughs> Actually, we could turn this on. Give it a second. Okay. New needle for this guy too. And I'm going to change. I was sewing buttons on with this machine last time I used it. So I'm just going to put my regular presser foot back on. And then if you want to see how this gets threaded... All right, so my thread goes through the back here, on this side, up and around. Make sure it gets into all the little crevices. This was a brand new spool of thread. So the end is a little yucky. I also don't know why I don't use my little threading thing that I use for my serger over here. I also don't use the, there is a, <laughs> there is a uh, drop down threading function. Sometimes the, my, uh, one of my Janome got bent. I'm not crazy about those. All right, pulling my bobbin thread up. And putting my table back on. Like I said, I just want to sew on a little scrap of fabric here just to make sure that I don't have any oil getting on anything. Yeah, and you'll be able to see here in a second what I'm talking about. Oh, it sounds good though. She's very happy. But you can see, see how that, that's white thread. So that oil is um, getting onto that thread right now. So just a couple of passes with that white thread. And then once it's white, then I'm good to go on my project, which is why I like to do a little scrap piece of um, fabric before I actually get onto the good fabric, because that would make me mad if I were actually <laughs> working on an object. There we have it. The little Bernina's ready to go too. Okay, so there you have it. Um, sorry, that light is shining. I'll use my head to block that <laughs> studio light. Um, so there you go. Just a little PSA to remind you to go out and clean your own machines. Make sure that they're in great working order because then they will be your friend. You'll have much less troubleshooting to do if you just take care of them um, with a little TLC. So um, yes, if you are wondering what kind of sewing project you'd like to start next, maybe take give your machines a little tender love and care before you uh, get there. All right, as for me, I'm just gonna pack up all of my sewing room basically and get it ready to take it over to the venue, make myself look a little more presentable. And uh, yeah, hopefully have a, well, I know, we're gonna have a great class this weekend. So looking forward to that. All right, on Tuesday, let's see, I'm not sure what Tuesday is gonna be quite yet. I have a ton 
of things that I want to bring to you. I had a lot of interest in doing a video on um, patterns to use for quilting cotton. I may push that to December a little bit, but yeah, that'll be coming up. I have a pattern uh, test to show you guys. I've got my Distashify makes to show you all. I have, um, I've been working on a cashmere pattern behind the scenes. I'm going to be, um, I think it's December's pattern for the club. I was, that was my third pattern to work on is the December pattern. Um, so that will be coming up here at the beginning of December. I have some, oh, I got to show you updates on my fall capsule that I've been working on as well as Jenny's. Um, I have some selfless sewing I'm going to be doing. So I'll be talking a little bit more about that. Um, and some men's sewing. I'm going to be doing some sewing for my husband and my son. Um, just a lot of really fun, exciting things coming up. <laughs> uh, and I'm also going to take a minute to clean because it's been a very busy fall for Tomcat Sidry, which is fantastic. But it looks like it's been a very busy <laughs> fall for Tomcat Stitchery. And I have some exciting news that I will be sharing. I'm sorry, I keep teasing that. Exciting news that will be coming at the end of the year when I'm talking 2023, um, kind of a broad overview of what you're going to be seeing on the channel and what kind of plans I've got in the works for Tomcat Stitchery. We'll be coming at the end of December some, um, you know, like a, we'll do a quick little year in review and then plans for 2023. But um, I just need to clean my room and do some reorganizing. My patterns, my digital patterns that are printed off are an absolute mess. And I'm so excited about the um, projector sewing class. It'll be this Saturday. If you guys haven't signed up for that yet, I will leave it linked down below. It's Veronica Coles um, doing I Bought It, um, a class on Saturday the 12th. And I'm going to be taking that. And hopefully that's going to help me um, pare down <laughs> or at least make them a little thinner. My... Um, PDF patterns, the ones that I can do that have the projector files. And don't worry, someone was very concerned about this becoming like a projector sewing class and, or channel, and that's not going to be the case. It'll probably be something I use behind the scenes, like when I'm printing, instead of printing things off, I'll just be using the projector. Um, I may talk about it a little bit, but for the most part, nothing's going to change on here. I'll still be using paper patterns. Just when I use digital patterns, if they come with a projector, projector file, I'll probably just be doing that instead of printing and taping paper together. So but I'll still be using tissue patterns as well. Um, anyway, I think that's all I've got. I'm sorry this was a short one. Life's just been a little bit crazy. Um, but next Sunday, I plan to have the first of the Arlington Hacks. So, very exciting. I hope you guys have a great Sunday, and I will see you again on Tuesday.